Hello everybody. I believe somebody are looking, somebody watching. Uh, I'm really sorry about uh, the time <coughs> that I made a mistake. Uh, usually uh, Saturdays from 6 is Denbutsu here, PM in Japan, and Dharma talk is 7.30, so I can be free like 8.30 or 9. Hi. I hope you having uh, you having a good holiday, Corona holiday. I'm sorry, <laughs> it's a bad joke. Sorry. So, <clears throat> I started about uh, talking about uh, the sensation of the enlightened and this, this whole kind of sensation of the enlightened. The fir and the first sensation was about the uh, about the joyful, which is connected to um, one of the twelve right of Amita Amitabha, and and also today is also talk about the third. Uh, sensation of the body, sensation of the enlightenment. I'm, I'm basically, what is enlightened? Um, <clears throat> I think many people say many things. What is enlightened, actually? L let me say one, with one word. It's a sense, sensation of the body. It's nothing to do with philosophy. No, it's not words, it's a sensation of the existence. I mean, exist what is existence? Existence is sensation. Actually, sensation of the body. Because uh, imagine if we don't have five cents. Five cents means I sense sense of the of the sight, uh, sense of the ear, sense of the nose, sense of the mouth, means, means taste, smell, uh, what you listen, what you see, what is touching sense, then if you don't have this, you will not recognize your, your sensation, your, your existence. Because <clears throat> how you recognize the world is come from uh, the basically it's come from the touch sense. Uh, when you're born as a, as a baby, the touch sense hasn't uh, developed yet. Also, eye sense of eye sense hasn't developed yet. So even the baby, even the eye is open, uh, cannot recognize in. in but as a, as it grows, uh, sensation is grows, and the touch sense recognize uh, <clears throat> self, which is separated from the outside world, and this is touch sense is the base of the base of the ego ego sense, ego conscious. Isn't it interesting? Touch sense is the base of the uh, ego conscious. <coughs> because ego conscious is what ego conscious come from is duration, uh, <coughs> separation of the self and the body. Sensation of the body. So maybe you think it's, it's a contradiction if I say enlightened is a sensation of the body and the ego conscious is a sensation of the body. Maybe you think it's a contradiction, but it's not. Uh, body sensation.
as an enlightened. Enlightenment. I hope I can get used to this situation that I don't see you guys. I don't see the people looking at me. And uh, you can look at me. <laughs> I'm not used to it. So I don't know how I can. Um, I imagine that you guys are here. Anyway. <coughs> Body sensation as enlightened. There's four kinds. And I talk about uh, today, I talk about sensation of the great love. Uh, where this great love, how is the body sensation of the great love feels like? And how this can be produced by and what is the philosophy can be um, understood from this body sensation at first when you uh, read Mahayana Buddhist Sutra uh, you see sometimes the word Flexibility of body and heart. This is also in a, a one, one part of the cha, a chanting in the Tao Sangha uh, uh, when we sing Shinni Niu Nanni Shite. It's about the flexibility of the body and heart. Often, uh, it's, this is also in uh, uh, Puran Sutra, also in Lotus Sutra, it's uh, flexibility of body and heart, or body and mind. Totally opposite of the stubbornness. One is how this comes from. How is this like? When you be dwelled by the great love of Amida Buddha, which is the spirit of the universe, when you be dwelled, when you notice that you be dwelled, your body start to as a sensation you start feeling that you are melted away by the great love how you start losing the uh, separation of self and others or object and subject ne? usually we feel or you, we subconsciously think that there's a border between our subject and object, our conscious and outside the world. But you, when you dwell by a great love, you start feeling in a body, in, in a border of the object and the subject, the great love starts increasing one uh, moment to moment increasing to start occupy occupied to it and your body and conscious and the border of self and others start to melt to melt start melting very warmly the sensation is very warm and non it's and borderless borderless very warm and borderless and happiness of the absolute happiness it's like a start to springs out the warm warmth and there's no words but i can we can call it no words but we can call it the great love 
the great when e, when when using the word great in Buddhism is not like a, a comparison of the great and not great <laughs> or less great or more great. Great or means from the uh, Sanskrit maha. This means absolute. This means non-separation, non-duality, non-duality, non-relativity, relativity. It means it means the great. It's because there's no border of yourself and the outside world you recognize, and all just become the full of great love, that, such as. Something similar is when you go get into the hot spring. You feel so warm. You feel so warm. And maybe you feel borderless between yourself and the, the warm water. A little bit similar to this, but it's more. And it's not temporary only when you go get into the, in the hot spring, onsen. It's like a, in a daily life, moment to moment, this warms, uh, this borderless, warm, warm borderless, warm of the borderless, in, in a borderless state, uh, start coming up and also springs out. And this is also possible to let other feels, uh, let other, you can let, make, let other feels this warms. And the and body and heart will be melted away. This as a result, your body and heart, of course, you find your body and heart totally flexible. So in this uh, sensation of the body, in this sensation of the body, it's, it's not, uh, in this sensation of the body, I think maybe it's something similar that uh, maybe before you born, the sensation before your birth, maybe in, when you're in tummy. <laughs> so that's why uh, there's a, a poem, poem in, in ancient, uh, ancient saint said, Even you, even you don't know that you are in the tummy of the of the great love of Buddha. Uh, you see the dream night nightmare. Uh, you you see that you are living this dream. What you see and you you worry and you you upset and you worry and, and this and that. All these are just like a dream, because, but you are totally inside of a, inside of a tummy, absolute tummy, the just a great love of the of the of the Buddha yourself is. That's what where you actually your existence is. The non-separation is the existence, and this is called great love. When you this when this sensation comes up. I don't want to use the word state of the heart. It's a sensation. It's more, more primal sensation. When this sensation comes up, appears in your body or in your heart and body. No, of course, non-separation of the body and heart. When this comes up, you feel that, the, oh, you feel as you went back home. This is where you belong. This is, is a true reality of the existence. Up until that, it was like just like a bad dream. You worry, you scared, you get angry, upset, this and that. It's just like a dream. The reality, real yourself is in a great love. And when this sensation of the body, when you fulfilled with this sensation of the great love. If you fulfilled all the time, you look 
also the world is great love. And there's no there's borderless, so and you realize that outside the world is also non-separation of, of subject and object. It is just a great love. So everything outside world in this state when when this comes up when this sensation comes up you feel that you you, you love you feel the love to outside because then no just, just great love just exists as in, inside and outside so how can you um be nervous to outside. How can you be get upset when you are in this sensation? It's not possible, right? When you are in onsen, you don't become like you don't become like this. When you are in onsen, you you don't worry. You in the moment when you when you feel warmth, you don't get upset. When you don't get worry, right? This and this is not from when you do nembutsu. This is why you do nembutsu, you so much concentrate and really so much concentrate to the prayers, to, to rescue all beings or whatever. Uh, you, you don't have a space to feel about the sensation of, the, of the, your existence. But if you keep practicing this, Start feeling dwell of the great love in your daily life. And what is directly, what can be the directly to make you, easiest way to make you uh, appears this sensation of the body? One is, one is Okune. Okune means Okune means Love Buddha. Love Amida Buddha. This is um, original meaning. Love Buddha or love God. These are important uh, practice in, in uh, also in Christianity and also in Hindu Hindi, in, in Hindu they say bhakti and also in the Buddhism Mahayana Buddhism too and that's meanings okune means because if you love Buddha or God or whatever as a response of the universe, you be dwelled by great love. Because if you, Buddha is whole universe, love Okunen to put, be mindful to with Buddha with love, be mindful to, to Buddha with love means to be mindful to all beings in the universe with love. And you put prayers you concentrate the prayers to rescue all beings, all the spirit in the whole universe. Concentrate, concentrate, concentrate with Okunen. Okunen, in love Buddha includes love all beings, love the world. Everything is yourself. And pray for all. And, and one day you feel all the karma will be dropped off. If the great love is, if you be dwelled by the great love, there's no space that you keep the karma in your, in your set as a luggage. Luggage will be dropped off. This you find yourself as a true reality of your existence. And that end is not something that you you, you become a great person, 
or you become the high high level concept or whatever just like be as you are this is what your self is your inner self is great love inner self is Buddha that appears and you be you feel as you dwell same time appears and dwell this is um, so most important is that you get sensation of the body otherwise we're in Otherwise, it's just become knowledge. Don't make it's not boring. It's a, it's a living. Buddha is living. Buddhism living. Teach Dharma is living. Let it live in your heart. Let it live with your existence, and prove to other people that with your body sensation, let other people feel the same body sensation that you can do it. When you feel, to, when you feel that you're dwelled, you can also let other feels, people around you feel that sensation of the of the of the great love. This is how the Dharma will be spread, and I hope we can share the great love with all people in the universe. Thank you.